In today's episode, let's check out Help Us Green Khas Dhoop Sticks. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ. So the incense that we have today to be reviewed here is Help Us Green Khas Dhoop Sticks. So it's something like this. The packaging is very beautiful. It's very sturdy. It can be reused and it, you must reuse it. So it's a very minimal packaging, very beautiful. So we have this flower like this because of course it is one of the flower cycle incenses. So this is one of the pioneers in this field like I told you earlier also. So along with Pool, Nirmalya and uh, so along with Pool and Nirmalya only. So the, these were the three brands that had initially come up with this concept of flower cycling. So it was Pool. Nirmalya and Help Us Green. So this is Help Us Green. I've reviewed full incenses. Some of the full incenses I've reviewed Nirmalya. So this is Help Us Green. I really wanted to review this. And uh, you know the good thing about these brands is like if you want to shop on any of the traditional incense brands, it's very difficult to order few stuff. Except for Cycle, I haven't come across any other incense brands that is for the retailers. You know, it's mostly for the wholesalers. So they want you to buy bulk packs and if you are somebody like me who just wants to try an incense and you know I do not use a lot of uh, incense sticks as such so I don't want to be stuck up with them. So I look for sites where you know I can order probably just one pack of it and then you know I'll, I can try that thing and then if I want more I can go back again. But so most of the traditional incense brands don't give you that uh, luxury except for cycle. But these brands, these all of these new age incense brands, many of these like Pool, Nirmalya, Help Us Green, uh, you know, and various other websites that resell incenses. So uh, those give you the luxury of buying one single pack also. So here, like I got three packs of this and I only had to buy one of these H variants and I bought this. So this is Khas Dhoop Stick. The color is all brown, of course, giving the feel and the vibe of khas so that is there and like all of us know khas is a plant the roots of which is used as uh, you know to uh, the essential oil is taken out from the roots of the plant and then the dried root is used in many forms then we also have khas water which is used in delicacies and you know it has many other culinary purposes culinary uses as well and then it's also used very heavily in the perfume industry and khas attar is very very famous it is one of india's best uh, you know offerings to the world so that is there and uh, we get two good quality khas from rajasthan and tamil nadu it's called vetiver in english like all of us know that so this is khas and you know khas has a very calming and grounding effect on you that's the reason khas is used in very you know uh, perfumes and incenses and Attar and you know in the beverages it is used because it gives a very calming and grounding you know uh, it has a very calming grounding effect on you so that's the reason khas is given so this brown uh, pack is probably to uh, you know to signify that thing about that earthy fragrance that earthy feel and that earthy vibe to it because it's a lot of earth that gives you grounding so this is what we have in brown very beautiful flowers on it and in fact <laughs> the packaging is one of the things that drew me to it so i really like the packaging so this is there on one side we have what it says khas essential oil can help relax the body and mind like i said the refreshing aroma also helps relieve stress after a hectic day so ideal for you to be lit up at night or in the evening when you come back from the office you've been really tired the whole day or if you're a housewife like me and you know if you've been try tired the whole day in the evening when you go for your puja you can just light this up and you know be relaxed for the whole of the evening and then we have a scanning code so it's like this this is what the side is on the other side we have use so hold the ignited match so instructions for use and then it says 25 dhoop sticks so this is what it is there's a picture of the dhoop stick also in white um I don't know I'm just not happy about the fact that they have only 25 incense sticks here they should have had at least 30 you know one per day for the month so it says the future is circular so this is what is the write-up in the back and it says 
the future is circular at help us green we collect flowers from the places of worship and process them into natural dhoop sticks infused with essential oils our products are made by underprivileged rural women i don't know why they play this card because all of the incense factories have women only working there and you know it's good you know women empowerment is good but even men need job and they need empowerment right they need equal uh, opportunity so let's talk of equality also here so uh, who through their skills embark on a journey of self reliance and empowerment empowerment enabling circular economy so this is what it says here then we have a few logos which says bamboo less made with flowers charcoal free handcrafted by helpers green powered by nature then they have the customer you know the the customer care id and all those stuff then address it has so this also is from kanpur and then we have caution so the mrp is not mentioned here but i got this pack for 129 so most of the instances are like that so 129 and then we again have a scanning code so it's like this on one side we have us helpers green and on one side we have helpersgreen.com so it's like that so this is what the packaging is like now when we open this this is how it comes out and so we don't have anything this is you know empty from both the sides hollow and so we have this which is you know covered with a branded butter paper and then we have the incense sticks like that right we have the incenses are this big uh i don't know what so this is like a little taller than my middle finger i don't know what i think must be around 2 3 inches or so something like that so this is what the size is this is what the height is it's nice and brown uh there's no masala no powder as such nothing on top nice and brown it is and we get an incense holder which is a nice plain white incense holder as in off white kind of an incense holder i really don't like this color <laughs> but anyway so this is what we have there and this is how you're supposed to place it and you place it anywhere doesn't really fit in it it's a little loose so just be careful while lighting this up i mean while placing this in this so this is what we have so the cold incense the fragrance that this gives out is nice very relaxing very earthy very khas so very true to nature the fragrance is really true to nature and you only get a single note khas fragrance here which is quite mild very subdued very very undertoned very nice i really like it and then we have we see the incense once we light this up the fragrance is really good guys it's like it's like true to nature khas and uh, very very nice khas if you like that woody fragrance of khas if you've actually ever smelled khas uh, roots you would get this fragrance it's really nice I really like this fragrance. There is nothing else to it, just plain khas fragrance, which is like nice woody, dry fragrance. So it gives you that feeling of warmth, relaxation, and you know that feeling of dr dryness. The the kind of feeling that you get from dry earth, that kind of feeling you get. You get that nice earthy fragrance kind of vibe in this. So that's all you have in this, and you know there is something. a little floral about it 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 evokes an image of uh, you know some kind of flower in your mind but you know that this fragrance is a nice khas fragrance and if you never been exposed to khas fragrance you would at least know that this is a very nice wooden fragrance which is very light and uh, mild very subdued that kind of fragrance this is and if we talk of intensity the fragrance you know you have this If you remember if you've seen one of my you know the review that I did of my own DIY incense if you check that I said that you know these DIY incenses do not have a good projection so they do not uh, you know they do not diffuse to a large area is the same thing that goes with this also so uh, here the, the the perfume the fragrance is diffusing only to one room of my house and uh, but the bubble the the intensity of the fragrance near to the dhoop stick where i've lit it is quite a lot and as i go further away it's it diminishes quite a lot so that's the kind of fragrance profile it has but this is a kind of fragrance which is not going to irritate anyone unless and until you actually don't like incense that's a different thing 
but if you don't like hard incenses if you don't like something that's very in your face if you like something which is like very mild very shy introverted subdued you know quite at peace it with, with itself you know it doesn't invite any attention it doesn't want you to look at it but it's just silently sitting there somewhere doing its work if you've ever seen a shy child just sitting in one corner and you know making a painting or reading a book but you know that that child is there so it's that same kind of fragrance but the fragrance is really good like i told you i'm on a lookout for a nice khas fragrance so i think i would really like to repurchase this uh, fragrance so my five stars to this i really like this fragrance i really really like the it that much but like if you do not like a fragrance that doesn't spread to a large area if you doesn't like if you don't like a fragrance which is like uh, more than mid mild uh, yeah actually more than mild because this is like a really mild fragrance if you do not like a fragrance which is more than mild um, then you would probably not like this um, if you want a fragrance that retains for long you will not like this because this doesn't retain for long like so that's the kind of fragrance this is if you like that kind of fragrance you would like this so that's help us green khas incense khas dhoop sticks now the quiz that i had last time was what is another name for sambrani cups so you'd be surprised to know that when the sambrani cups came in the market it was initially known as computer sambrani and i used to wonder what computer sambrani is i still don't know what it is but i know that this was this is also called as computer sambrani so sambrani cups it's also these days they call it havan cup they call it uh, you know uh, loban cup whatever but they initially they called it computer sambrani also so that's another name for sambrani cups so that was the quiz for last time and uh, vidwatam ji answered the quiz he said it's also known as havan cup uh, so that uh, i actually wanted to hear this term computer sambrani <laughs> so that is there and uh, the quiz that we have today is please let me know of your favorite khas fragrance and i want to do a compare of khas fragrances in the market so let me know your favorite khas fragrance so i can buy you know around 3 4 5 fragrances and then we can do a compare of the fragrances so uh, you know if any of you please let me know of your khas fragrance please comment okay please let me know that so that's all for the episode today i hope you enjoyed today's episode and you liked it So till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste